Agronomy Week continues, and we're at the beautiful Field of Dreams movie site in Dyersville, Iowa. I'm your host, Clint Schaffer, and today we're going to be talking about choosing seed and choosing sod, and what puts baseball and agronomy in the same league. I'd like to have a discussion around, you know, some of the similarities that we may see on choosing the right sod for a, for a particular baseball diamond versus choosing the right seed for a field. Uh, I would assume that uh, that seed choice and placement is, uh, is, is a pretty key aspect as we're going into planting. Yeah, actually, that's probably one of my favorite things that I get to do as an agronomist is think through what the challenges are on a specific field and then think about the product that would fit that that field well so that it would kind of help overcome those challenges, but as well as just, you know, fit that acre and give us the best yield possible. You know, I, I imagine that saw they put on that field is pretty tough. You know, they play play quite a few baseball games during the year. Uh, and, and tough comes to mind when, when growers ask us for a variety. Most of the time in Tennessee, we can be dry real quick, so we want something tough. But we also want something that's versatile enough to, to do well if it does rain. So, so tough, toughness and consistency are some of the characteristics we look for. I would agree with, uh, with Rachel and Wes that there's, there, are, there are a lot of similarities. Every field's different, um, you know, every farm's different. And for the different crops, you know, when I think about soybeans, if you've got a, you know, a high disease pressure environment or lighter soil or some specific uh, characteristic that you have to manage, and uh, you know, I'm I'm not a not a turf expert, but uh, I'm sure if you're you know seeding a field in the northeastern part of the U.S. versus the southwestern part of the U.S., you're going to be choosing different species, different characteristics for those different environments that you're going into. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think about, you know, things that uh, that they may be looking for, like the the drainage capability or the even the color of it. Right. Uh, as we think about all these are on uh, on TV, right, as they're uh, as they're shooting that. I would assume there's a lot of those characteristics that farmers are looking at for their particular, whether it's a corn hybrid or cotton variety or soybean variety. You know, you, you mentioned the, the color, the actual the visual aspect of it, and obviously Pretty corn isn't our number one thing that we're looking for. We're looking for yield and good agronomics, but a lot of times when we get that yield and good agronomics, it comes along with a really nice, beautiful plant. So when I think about you know picking the right product, um, a lot of times it's gonna end up being a really appealing looking product because it's gonna have that good standability. It's gonna have nice grain quality. It's gonna utilize the nutrients so that it has a deep green color as well as good, good disease tolerance so that it's, a, you know, at the end of the year, it's an attractive product, just like we're looking for, for sod to be yeah. an attractive product also. You'll hear a lot of cotton growers in the Mid-South say that not only do I want my cotton to look good, but I, you know, or do good, but I want it to look good, right? I want it to be showy. So that also comes with some constraints. You know, if, if you want your cotton to look good, uh, that's called loosen the lock a lot of times. And if we get the right storm in the fall, those hurricanes come up from the South, we can lose a lot of cotton real fast. So, uh, but the good thing about being showy and looking good is that picker usually picks that cotton a lot cleaner, and which means more yield. But I would assume that there's probably choosing some of these sod pieces for disease resistance as well, as we think about maybe being too wet or too dry or whatever. Uh, what are some of those uh, characteristics that farmers and, and, and folks like yourselves are, are looking for when it comes to, to disease tolerance? So, I mean, sod is, is a grass species, just like corn, but grass species are, are um, susceptible to a lot, of, a lot of fungal pathogens as well. And so you think about the placement of that ball diamond wherever you're at and the environment you'll you're going to have different diseases maybe you'll have some rust or or some powdery mildew that that comes in on that grass and for us it's the same for for corn and soy depending on our environment we're going to have different diseases the diseases i care about may be slightly different than the diseases that west cares about and you know in crops just just like in turf management you know variety selection or hybrid selection can help you manage some problems but you know you're going to manage things using fungicides and your fertility program and there's there's more that goes into it than just the you can't fix everything with genetics and sometimes you you know have to use a fungicide to control a particular disease and 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 that management is going to you know be specific to the crop and specific to you know, where that ball diamond is and, and what pathogens are an issue there. 
The other thing that I wanted to talk about too, you know, speaking of, uh, of of baseball fields here, as we look outside in Dyersville, Iowa, it's pretty uh, pretty pretty wet out here today. So uh, I would think that, uh, that you know, as we think of irrigation or drainage uh, that ends up occurring as well, uh, that farmers are kind of picking and choosing based on maybe some of those characteristics that uh, that their field has. One of the most common questions that we'll get in central Illinois, and this is sometimes a hard question for a breeding group to answer, and, and we have to try to do some trials locally to answer these questions, is you know, what handles wet feet? And what hybrids can I plant or what soybean varieties can I plant in this poorly drained soil? And they'll be able to survive that environment. And you know, we can't control the drainage in our crop fields typically, as well as they can probably control the drainage in a ball diamond, because you know that, you know the, uh, you know the drainage in that ball field is going to really impact, you know how much damage happens to that turf when they're playing on it, how soft is it, the bounce of the ball, the, you know all those things are going to really be impacted by drainage. And so my guess is they can really micromanage that ball field. They're probably not on 60-foot centers then out there. <laughs> yeah, probably not. Probably not.